What's going on YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part 6 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget guys, better not forget. I'm telling you right now, don't forget. Go to Twitch right now, type in Genius25, hit that follow button, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on any of my live streams. So guys, in the last episode, we actually did a ton of side questing. We got a bunch of piece of hearts, got a bunch of secret seashells, some figurines, you name it, we did it. We also got the slime key to unlock the third dungeon, and that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. So let's hop into it. Did you guys hear the Octorok? It was like, when he shoots. <laughs> but it's so funny. Making our way into our third dungeon, it is called the Key Cavern. So let's head over to the right right here, see what's up. What we got? Oh, we got this thing pushing out, so I'm guessing we cannot get... This chest, yeah, we cannot get this chest right here, but we do have the ability to pick up pots now. We can actually throw these pots at the door and grab some bombs. I'm actually going to equip my bombs to begin with, because I don't think we're going to need the shovel. We're going to get wrecking all these fools right here. Oh, what's this guy doing? Jeez. All right, we got to shield this guy, hit him. Sammy, yeah, what's up, dog? Kill all these enemies on this floor, and we can obtain our first chest for this dungeon. Let's go. Can we see anything on the map? No, we do not even have the dungeon map. What are you thinking, Jeans? What are you thinking? But we get ourselves our first small key. Now we can open any locked door of our choosing. So next, we're going to hop up here, and we got all these shoes right here. Get out of my face. What you guys want? There we go. Opening up both these doors and this chest. But as you can see to the left, there's, like, something there. Like, I have no idea what that is. But I'm guessing we're going to need the item from the dungeon to get through it. What is this crap? What is this? They fooling me out here. Oh, we got these bats right here. But in this floor, you can see that we need to hit this switch to knock down these pillars to get this chest. So I guess we can't do anything this way right now. So we're just going to head into the only direction we can. Is it? And it is this way. We got these little skeleton guys that hop. Pin them up against the wall. And just start whapping on them. Get out of my face. Get in, yeah, you better run. Get in the corner, buddy. Get out of here. Finish them too off. Do we get anything for that? No, we do not. So, I guess we're just going to keep heading up this way and seeing what's up over here. Wrap on these shoes real quick. And the only way we can go right now is down these steps. So, let's get going. Guys, oh! Wait, let me finish off these shoes. Dude, there's tons of shoes in this cavern. Let's go! Guess that's why it was called the slime key. That's pretty cool, though. Mm, what door should we head into first? I think we're going to head straight in a downwards door right here. Seeing what's up over here. We actually got these enemies. What's up? Oh! We got this new enemy who shoots like... Stars and stuff. We're gonna throw a bomb at him. What you want? Blow him up. Blow him up. Oh, murk them. Murk them. Get out of my face. And once we kill all the enemies, we get ourselves another small key, which is just dandy, everybody. Just dandy. Yo, that new enemy's sick. I think he's so cool. He throws like ninja stars and everything. But like I was saying, guys, this playthrough has been phenomenal so far. Like, I'm in love with this game right now. Probably one of my favorite 2D Zelda games that I played. But we're going to keep going over here. We got the Shrekin dude right here. Down my face. Ooh, what you want, fool? Get out of here, bats. What you want? Come on. We're running on these conveyor belts. Let's grab this bomb. Can we throw it over the wall? We can. We can. Does, will that hit? That murked. <laughs> All right, let's get another bomb over that wall. Nope. Actually, we can just leave him on this conveyor belt, can't we? Oh, we're throwing it over the wall. Get him! <laughs> Drop that bomb. There we go. Just leave it on the conveyor belt. It'll actually eventually get to him. Oh, why'd I go down? Was there a chest there? I'm going back. I'm going back. Okay, no, there was no chest, but this can actually lead to the stairs right here. Now I can figure out what to do. What we got over here? Ooh, piece of power. This will be nice. Granting us attack buff and speed buff. So, let's check out the map. We are right here right now. There's only one way to go. We're gonna need a small key, though, because that door needed small keys, but and we were out of them. We can start wrecking on these fools right here. What you want? What you want? We got these pots and pants. What's up here? We're just exploring right now, doing our thing. We got these skeletons. Oh, we got the piece of power. Oh, he slammed on us, so we're one-hitting these fools. Bro, get out of my face. Keep moving along in this dungeon. We got these bombs over here. And the door closed. These things are going to start. Oh, my God, he's on a timer. Run. Run. Leave me alone. Hit this one. Get on the timer. Get back. Get back. Get out of here. And that's how it's done. Unlocking this door over here. So now we keep moving on. What? Ooh, nice little chest here. What we got? A small key or... I need a dungeon map and the compass still. Are we wrecking right now. What we got here? The compass. Let's go. Now we can see all the chests and everything. Beautiful. Beautiful. So these are the first two things that you want to get in the dungeons is the compass and the map to help you out. So now I can look and see where all the chests are at. Okay, okay. So we're going to need keys to get that one. So the only way we can kind of go right now... Wait a minute. There's a chest right here. What we got? We were here. There's chests up there. We're going to... 
head back down, actually. I think we're gonna head back down. Back down the stairs. All right. Let's get going this way. Ooh, there's the chest right there. I was gonna say. There's a chest near that we didn't know of. <laughs> we can't get it yet. So we're gonna head back down here. Just see what's going on. So let me just see something. There's a chest in this room? There's not a chest in this room. Don't lie to me. I do not see a chest in this room. Let's kill all the chews then. I guess we'll walk around here and see. There we go. There's the chest. I was gonna say, there's a key in here. That's what we need. So if you walk around, then the chews appear. And then you can take them out and get yourself this key right here. But we're gonna head back down the stairs right now. Because if we actually make our way back to the other thing. I hope he doesn't shoot the shurikens at me. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> He's so cool. We can head back into this door and do this floor again because we need four small keys in order to do everything but We can actually look at the compass right now and see what's up and we there's nothing we can tell but we're gonna head left now I was gonna head up, but the left seemed like the wave seemed like the wave. All right, let's keep going this way Oh my lord. We got this guy these guys on the other side here. We're gonna throw these bombs We gotta get them towards them to do some damage on them. Yeah That's money throw look at that money throw the Luckily we grab bombs because we actually need them to this dungeon. I guess you can't get in without the bombs. But boom, dude, wreck on him. We can actually bring out Rock's Feather over here and hop over here. And we got this last chew that we can kill, dropping us another small key, which is wonderful. Wonderful. Let's keep moving along here. We got this last small key to unlock that last door, which now we can unlock the top one. Go inside here. What we got here? What we got in here? Okay, so we got chests and we got all these enemies we're gonna take out. Give me this pot. What you want? Oh, <laughs> yo. Headshot right there. Headshot. We can grab ourselves this key. And there's actually a switch. And if you guys remember that we couldn't get that chest in the beginning, we could probably now get it now that we switched it. But let's head back up these stairs. This should lead us back. Here we grab this chest right here. After we destroy these guys. And head back down. Ooh. The stone beaks. Stone beaks are awesome. They can help us out in the dungeon and all that. But we can, like I was saying, we can actually head back down to that first floor where we couldn't get through because it was all blocked off. But now we, now we can. We flip the switch and all that. Yo, what you guys want? We got our defense up. I don't even feel like fighting you guys. We already whooped on you guys earlier. Get out of here. What you want? Give me those extra rupees. Yo, can we have defense and attack up at the same time? I don't think so. I don't think so. But now that the switch is hit, look. Creates us a path over here. We can actually keep moving along here. And get this chest right here. What you want, fool? Oh, one shot, dude. The piece of power just shreds. It just shreds. And there we go. We get ourselves a dungeon map. Now we can see everything. All the composite. Well, all the chests and everything. And all the floors. Get out of here, bats. I want to look at the map. In peace. Okay, so this is what we got to do. We have this chest right here. We couldn't get this chest in the beginning. Because there was the... The suction thing was holding us down. Then we got this over here. All up here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We have an extra small key, too. So we're chilling. We got 48 bombs. So there's a chest in this room, it says. How do we get this chest? I'm wrecking all the enemies right here. Do I gotta drop a bomb here? This looks like a nice little spot here. No, nothing. That is nothing. Alright, we're chilling though. We're good. We're gonna head back here. I guess we can get that later. We might need a dungeon item. Which way we gotta head now? Okay, it's this way. To the right. It actually leads to the stairwell. That'll lead us to the next floor. But we got these punks. Can we hop over everything? Oh my god, you stupid bat. We cannot hop over any of this stuff. Yeet. But hopping will actually make it quicker on the conveyor belts. By skipping across and all that. We can start making our way this way towards the dungeon. We have an extra small key right now. Get out of my face. Ooh, get ripped, get ripped. Gotta check the map one more time. See what's going on here. And we're gonna head this way. We're gonna unlock one of these paths right here. We're gonna unlock this thing right here. And that door shuts. I guess we gotta defeat all these shoes. Oh my god, they got me again! These guys can get me all played through. Leave me alone. You can't swing when they're on you. And you are really slow too. Which way we wanna head? Which way? We're gonna head this way. We're going upwards. Look at these guys. We got these new enemies right here. They are like little slug monsters. And as you can tell, they open their mouth when they come towards you. So you can drop a bomb here and they will eat them. Eat these bombs, buddy. Get over here. Eat the bomb. Eat the bomb. No, you went the wrong way. Eat the bomb. No. You eat one. No. Eat the bombs. <laughs> you can only drop one at a time. There we go. Boom, he should be done. Did I break him? Nope. He just stomach exploded. Oh. <laughs> Drop another one. Yo, he shaked his head. He shook his head and said no. Did you guys see that? He's like, nope. I'm not doing it. Make him eat that one. Oh, and there he goes. Blows up. Gives us a fairy. Oh, I should have captured it in a bottle, which would have been nice. Okay, cool. He actually has an extra fairy, so now we're going to 
get her bottle out. And I guess that acted as the, uh, the mini boss for the dungeon. Because there's our halfway point. We can now travel from the beginning and back. And he opened up doors. But we got this fairy in a bottle just for safe keep keepings. When we verse the boss, maybe we can heal up later. Well, here we go. We can head through here and we got ourselves another chest. Can we push any of these out the way? Can we push this one again? No, we cannot. No, we cannot. Oh, we can push this one down. There we go. And grab this. What's this chest? What we got? <gasps> this is the item for the dungeon. These are the Pegasus boots. I was waiting for these. These things are awesome. They're in like all 2D games. You got the Pegasus boots. If you hold down L, you can dash trying to go for a long jump. Oh, you can dash try going for a long jump. Okay, so let me equip these Pegasus boots. I think we're going to take off the bomb. Wait, where? Oh, no. They're just an automatic item. Oh, <gasps> yes, we can run. And we can do a long jump with them. Ready? Can we hop over this thing? No, we cannot hop over this. But we can push it out the way. But we can do long jumps. And now we can run really fast. Which is just the bomb. So what we got to do now? What we got? What we got? All right, we're going to head this way. Do we have a small key? We do not. So the only other way to head would be this door right here. But yes, we got the Pegasus boots. Now we can do sprints and all that. Have some good old times. But we're going to drop this bomb. Launch it over there. Look at that double hit. See ya, punks. They're like little birds. They crack me up. Can we get another double hit here? For the perfect throw? No, we're just going to take out that one. That's fine. That's fine. Chop up this chew. Drop another bomb. Yeah. <laughs> they just stand there like... <laughs> and then the bomb just murks them. What we got here? Nice. Nice small key here. We can grab this and keep moving along with this dungeon. Let's head through this door. And face off against these mean red chews that always seem to get me. But not this time. We got them. Oh, yeet. Get out of my face, dude. Ripped. Ripped up. And now we have a chest all the way up there that we cannot get yet until we make our way around. Well, let's check out the map. Where are we at? We're going to head up this way. Yeah, and then we can head around. Perfect. Perfect. Uh-oh. We're going to start talking bombs and stuff. Get out of here. What you want? These guys are going to go on a timer. Oh, murk them all. Oh, we got blocked this guy with my shield. Wreck. What is that bomb that just stands there? See that bomb right there? I didn't throw that bomb, but we can actually hop up here and grab an extra 10 bombs. Oh, that was just an extra bomb. That's cool. Is there supposed to be a chest in this room? No, there's not. No, there's not. That's what the compass is awesome for. But here's the chest that we got earlier that popped up here. What we got inside here? Bang, dude, a 50 rupee. That is awesome. Considering we ran low in the last episode when we were buying everything. Like, which way are we heading? Which way are we off to? Mm -hmm. We actually haven't hit up this way yet. So we're going to come up here and check what's over here on the right. So we got all this bomb. Oh, can we just like huck these bombs over here? Look at this. <laughs> Yo, is this like a shooting gallery? Yeah. Oh, nice little bounce shot there. Got him. Boom. Come on. Get him. Got him. Oh, got two of them. We need one more. So we're just going to huck this one right there. That should get it. He's going to walk back into it. You punk. He did not. He, he's just standing there. Yes, run back towards it. All right, we're going to try right there. That's the money throw. That's the money throw. Get him. What? <laughs> that punk. Ugh. Couldn't get it over that wall. But there is a cracked wall right to the right right there. We're actually going to break that open because we could probably make our way in there in a little bit. We'll probably act as a doorway. There it is. Bang, dude. Open up that door. Yeet that bomb. That better get him. Can we kill this punk? I actually think we can just walk around now. And just whoop on him when he comes. So we're going to do that. We're just going to do that. Hey, perfect, perfect. Which way are we going now? Oh, we have to walk all the way back. But this kind of shows us the path that we now broken that wall. And we can head in there and get this off. They respawn. What is this? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're going to Pegasus boots now. Because we can run fast. I keep forgetting that we can do this. Push this out the way. Get out with these punks. Get out of here. But the best part about the Pegasus boots is they keep us... They let us run fast so we can actually just like yeet across these dungeons like this. And we're stabbing mid uh, run, which is nice. But we got a piece of power, which gives us a nice little speed buff too. And a damage buff. Yeah, we know that's up there. We're going to keep heading this way because we already defeated all these chumps. And we just want this uh, the chest and stuff in here. Get out of here. What you want? Get these bombs. What you want, fools? Oh. Oh, my God. Jeez, these guys are animals. Oh, there's a fairy. We'll actually just use it right now because we have one in the bottle already. And grab this second small key. Yes. Yes, let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Let's check out the map. I know on the first floor, well... I oh, know this was just a shortcut earlier. Okay. 
There's nothing over there. What do we got left? We got this one chest. And I'm guessing we're going to have to unlock all this different stuff in order to get there. And that last chest has to be the nightmare key for the boss. Cool, cool, cool. Get out of here. So now that we have the two small keys, we're going to head to this last little section right here. Get out of my face. No, zombie dudes. Look at these chew jellies. They cracked me up. <laughs> we're going to head up here. Unlock this. Now move on over here and unlock this one too. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, we need another small key? Huh, this rock has a keyhole. You should come back with the key. Oh, oh, no way. What are we missing? Right here. Right here. We got to go back to the beginning. And that suction, we could probably run through it with the Pegasus boots. Yes, we are learning. We are learning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's head back to the beginning right here using this little telep teleportation device. Cool, cool, cool. Now we can head over to the right here and use our Pegasus boots. To run through it. Oh, no, we hit the thing and fell down. But we actually stabbed it and killed it, which is just wonderful. Pegasus boots are where it's at, baby. There's the last small key, which is wonderful. Now we can actually run back and open that last lock. Look at his little footsteps. Like, they're cracking me up, man. Come on, get inside there. Teleport back to that floor. We can actually use our last small key, which is perfect. Perfect. Man, yo, we're crushing this dungeon right now. Dude, dude, ah! These guys again. Get off of me. Get off of me. <laughs> Those might be the hardest enemies for me. <laughs> they just always stick on me. They don't do damage. Just like, when you're like, ah! <laughs> but it's all good. We got this key. We actually head down here. What the heck is this thing? Pegasus. Oh, we can. We can Pegasus boot stab him and then walk across him. All right, we're going to do a Pegasus boot jump here. Look at that long jump. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. <laughs> okay, now we're here. Oh, no. I didn't mean to go back up the stairs. Go down. We're actually going to Pegasus boot, run across here, start breaking all these things. Start hucking bombs to kill these little bird dudes. Oh, we actually moved it out the way. We shouldn't have done that. Here's a double hit, though. Yeet. Get on my face. Get them both. Get them both. Yes. All right, who are we taking out now? Got to drop my bomb. We're going to throw it over there. See you, birdie bird. He's done for. We got our next bomb. Can we actually Pegasus boot these guys? We can! We murked on them! Pegasus boot rocks, but is there anything in here? No, there is not. I was thinking maybe if we take out that stuff, we can get stuff. But there is something in here. Which is crazy. Do you want bats? One more bat. Come here. Once we destroy all the bats, what do we get here? Uh, our last small key. So now we have to use it to probably go get the... Yeah, go get the nightmare key. Okay, okay. I'm learning. I'm learning. Give me a break, guys. We can head back through this door and start making our way back to that main floor. Making it back to this main floor right here. We just got to figure out how to get that last chest because that has the nightmare key in order to unlock the boss door. So if we head up here, let me just give it a peek. Maybe I missed something. There's an arrow right here pointing downwards. Okay. Maybe we have to run with our Pegasus boots or something. Let's try it. Did that do anything? No. Let's talk to. Let's put their stone beacon here. Let's see. Poke suspicious parts of the wall with your sword, and listen to the sounds it makes. Okay. I I don't know. I don't know what that did. Can we just swing it? Let's drop a bomb. Let's see if we can break this. No, we cannot. Oh, we can! It did! Okay, so we put the bomb there, which breaks that. Now we can break this wall, too. We got these chumps here. We can beat on them. Break this pot. I think that door right there actually just opens up an easier pathway for us. Oh, no, we can do this now. We do our Pegasus long jump. Yes! Let's go! Now we can make our way up here do another Pegasus boot long jump. Yeet. And grab ourselves the nightmare key. Yes, let's get it, guys. Let's get it. But what's this extra small key for? What is this extra small key for? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's head back here. Do our long jump. Do the long jump sick. Just hold down L. And then at the right time, hit this. What's in this door? What do we need this last small key for? Didn't we get every chest? I guess this might be an extra? I have no idea. I have no idea. I really have no idea. But there is actually one more thing I want to do. Before we actually head to the boss. Is I actually want to head back this way. And check out that long path that we couldn't get in the beginning. Because it had like those circus tent looking things on it. 
I think we gotta head down these steps right here. I believe so. Is this the right way? Yes, this is the right way. But we do have an extra small key that I just don't know what it's used for. But it's all good. It's all good. We chilling. Maybe there was something in the boss room. What you want? We'll get out of here. We're just gonna run straight with our Pegasus boots this way. Just to see what's over here. Look how slow we're moving. Oh my god! What was that? <laughs> there we go. Stab this. What is this? Just a quick path? Or what does this do? This is absolutely nothing for us. This is absolutely nothing for us. Okay, guys, with all that done, I believe this is just an extra small key. I believe they just threw it in there to help us out a little bit. We're actually going to start heading to the boss fight. We're going to get whooping on this fool now that we have the nightmare key. But we're going to start by teleporting over here and then heading back down this way. Blah, 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 blah. Avoiding these guys because they annoy me. You guys already know the rules on that. We're going to make our way down towards this way and back down the stairs and hop over Mr. Uh, I don't even know what this dude looks like. We're going to stab him with our Pegasus boot stab. He's going to drop down. <laughs> we're going to Pegasus boot long jump. Yay, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude, the Pegasus boots are just awesome. They're gonna come in so much handy. I'm gonna run through this door, stab that bird, get out of my face, and just run this way and go inside the- What you want? And go inside the boss door. <laughs> Stop hitting me. We're trying to fight this boss. Who we got? Who is this guy? Ninir, Ninir, you can't find me. Nya nya. Okay, I'm kind of scared. Okay, okay. I see sh that big shadow right there. I'm gonna place a bomb right there. What does that bomb do? Will that bomb do anything? No, it cannot. This guy's gonna come down soon. He's dropping slimes. There's slimes dripping from the ceiling. What's this guy want? He's shaking it again. More slimes come down. Any of them gonna drop me hearts? I would like a couple extra hearts, but no. What's he doing? Ah! <laughs> he keeps dropping them. Get out of here. Oh my lord. More slimes. More slimes. Does he just keep doing this? Or do we have to knock him down or something? Maybe if we do a Pegasus run into the wall. There we go. It shakes it, the wall down and he falls down. Okay. Look at this. And this is Slime Eye. Look at him. He's just a big great blob with an eye. Hence the name Slime Eye. What's up? Oh, he splits like that when you keep hitting him. Get out of my face. Get out of here. We're going to keep ripping on him. Actually, let's drop a bomb right here. Oh, no. Now we can Pegasus boot. Okay, I got this. I got this. Keep hitting his eyes. He will separate and split like that. Then you come into the middle here. Oh, and you Pegasus boot run. I think I see it. No. Get him. No. Come on. We got this. Let's start, let's place a bomb here. Maybe that'll do the trick. Next. Nope. We got this. Place a bomb here. I'm going to hit him again. Then we're going to Pegasus boot run through him. No, is that not what we do? But we are definitely going to pull out our fairy right now and use this. While we're trying to figure out everything. We're just going to keep ripping on his eye. Okay, that is not the key here. But we're going to have to do something with our Pegasus boots. There we go. Just like that. Splits them into two. We just had to run through it. I knew that was what we had to do. And these guys are coming up in here. We're going to drop a bomb real quick. Oh, that knocks us down. The other one comes down and slams on us. What you want? Let's go. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. What? Oh, no. So we got to jump up in the air. To avoid the shockwave. Get out of here, buddy. Alright, so he's gonna come down, send the shockwave down. We're gonna jump, avoid it, jump that one, and start wrecking all these fools. Get out of here. There we go. There's one done. We got one left here, and then we can finish off this boss fight. What you want? Get out of my face! What you want? There we go! Killing the slime eye and finishing up this dungeon. He's done for, he's done. Ba -ba 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 -ba! Let's go! Dude, that dungeon was awesome. We grab, grab ourselves another heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increase and your health has been refilled too. So now we have eight total hearts. We are grooving along in this game. We can grab our third instrument. Look at it. We're going to take it. Woo! You got C. Lily's Bell. Let's go. Let's hear it. Let's see what it's got. Play it. Play it, Link. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds delightful. There we go. Now it's going to tell us where we should head to next. I think that was my favorite dungeon so far. That was a really good one. Waterfall. Okay, it's telling us to head to the waterfall. Oh, we're going to a waterfall? That's cool. I love water.
it is hidden in the waterfall so the next dungeon is hidden inside the waterfall yes dude i'm a sucker for all these water levels it's i just love them so much for some reason i don't know why and our boy hoot hoot the owl <laughs> here he comes he comes out here makes our way down here lands on top of this little stone hoot how many instruments have you gotten so far when you play the instruments in front of the egg the windfish will wake and you will leave this island now you must hasten to the yarnar desert the dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot. Why is it telling me to go to the desert and the waterfall at the same time? A little confusing, but we will actually figure this out and be doing everything in the next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel. As so the next episode, we're going to be moving on with the main story. Probably doing some side quests to grab us a piece of heart and all that. And then moving along. So, thank you guys for, so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.